Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we're going to do this little video at the end of the day. So we've kind of been working on the car and we got like a couple things done. So one, we got our Zeta coilovers. We uh, came with these Hyperco springs and these were six inches long, 500 inches uh, or whatever, 500 pound per inch. We actually needed shorter ones. We didn't know it. I don't think we actually did when we ordered them, but we pulled a bunch of weight out of the car and what happened is the back of the car was sitting too high so i couldn't lower the car enough also the adjusters were going to run into the axles so anyway we bought these uh shorter springs and we got those put on today and as you can see the car's sitting pretty low i'd actually like it to be this way when i'm done but i don't think i'll be able to see the front i love how that looks and frankly i like the back about like this maybe a touch higher but not much However, my bigger tires are going to lift the car another inch, so it's going to sit a little higher in the back than you see. It's about an inch higher when I get done. I could adjust it lower, but then they say the shocks like go out of range or something, so probably going to sit about like this, except the back will be an inch higher, roughly. So anyway, we got our, uh, our new springs put on, but we did something else. We set the camber adjusters to zero, so I used to have the back like maxed out to reduce camber. Cause I'm drag racing. I don't want the tires crooked. I want them straight up and down. So I did that. And you can see now that we have a lot of camber in the back. Yeah, hopefully it shows up on video. But anyway, yeah, there's definitely camber. I don't know how well that shows up on a video, but it's about probably close to two degrees. Hell, it might be, this wheel looks way more than two degrees. That's two and a half on this wheel. I don't know why they're different. I swear it looks like they're different. But yeah, this one looks like it's at maybe two. The others are two and a half whatever that's not going to work for drag racing but we got a plan so we have these control arms and i think what we're going to do is we're going to use these these are going to be sacrificed for the greater good the greater good we're going to chop this and it's probably just weld a bolt in here and make I mean, weld a nut weld a bolt on one side a nut on the other and i'll be able to spin this half and it'll change links now that's not going to work for driving but what i can do is i can make this adjustable like crappy shitty adjustable but adjustable nonetheless and then i can adjust it until my camber is happy and then take this out of the car and take a measurement to see how much longer this is and then i can modify the ones on the car properly and then when i install them the camber's fixed probably what we're going to do because i ain't found an easier way to do this so that's one of the next projects um another project it's fender flares. We still got some figuring out to do on those. But uh, we're going to put the flares on or get some bigger ones if these won't work. But that's to be determined. So I'll show you something else we did. This is kind of a boring update. But let's see if the camera will focus. Yeah, probably not. Oh well. I basically cleaned the inside of my fender wells. Okay, there you can kind of see. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Need to pick the car up to really show this off. But basically all this metal was all dirty and it, I swear it looked like it had some kind of mold on it or something. Just nasty. I went in here and cleaned and scrubbed. I've been doing that to different areas of the car and it's been getting better. But I had missed a bunch of, a lot of stuff back here had not really been done. So we did that. And then we kind of thought about it and I've actually never taken the bumper off my car before. Just, I've never taken it off. Um... I've, somebody hit this side of my car and knocked the bumper loose one time and someone over here drove into the back of my car and did some expensive sheet metal damage that I've never fixed but I've never actually taken the bumper off so we decided to take it off um, we were wanting to take off this little thing that goes here this guy anyway this will show you how dirty it was back here that's that old uh, five mile an hour thing we took it off you can see how nasty and just like yuck that's what the whole back of the car looked like. Here's our bumper. We got all this cleaned up. I mean, it looks great now. Like, look on the inside. I mean, it's, looks fine. It was all dirty before, but we got it all cleaned up nice. Started thinking about maybe modifying this or making one or something, but I'm trying to push those thoughts away. So, but I do kind of like having the short back end. I could, you know, I could see a custom bumper looking nice, but anyway, we ain't got time for that. But hey, we at least got it cleaned. We pulled the tail lights and uh, cleaned those too. That's the tail lights. They're looking better. They could still, I kind of missed some spots on one of these. This one, the back of it's like, eh. This one, the back of it's still got dirt. 
needs another cleaning. So does that one. But anyway, we got a preliminary cleaning done. So that's cool. Made a little bit of progress. Um, finally got started on these wheels and tires, which is nice. Uh, like I said, I think we're going to do the upper control arms next. Get our camber dialed in and go from there. Let's see. So some of you guys might be wondering, like, why are we doing all this work to fit these tires? And really the answer is, I just think we should. Uh, one of the biggest problems I've always run into in, in a Miata is grip. You know, you can add power and add power. In fact, if you go look up YouTube, go find some videos of guys that make like 400 wheel, 500 wheel, and all you'll hear them say is, I'm spinning in third, I'm spinning in fourth, and that's the reality. When you got a lot of power, you can't put it down. But that's a limiting factor. You'll notice a lot of cars nowadays, the cars that are really fast, most of them are all-wheel drive, or they just have really damn good tires and suspension and launch strategies. You know, it's like the perfect, everything has to come together for, the, for a car to really get a good launch. And you're only as strong as your weakest link. So my car is going to have some strong links. We're going to have a, you know, eventually we'll have a turbo motor that can build a lot of boost before we launch. We have a good transmission for drag racing. It's got a, you know, high stall converter. We got a trans brake. It's very, very strong. Strong drive shaft, strong diff, true track limited slip, drive shaft shop 900 horse axles. You know, we got a lot of stuff. Um, but we used to run on six inch wide wheels with uh, some little drag radials. So now we got 10 inch wide wheels. These are street tires, but of course we got our slicks, these puppies. So, and this is a 26 inch tall tire. And they call it a 10 inch tread section, but I mean, this thing's almost a foot wide. But, uh, Basically, we're doing it for the grip, you know? We're gonna have some sidewall flex finally. We had some with the old ones, but not this much. We'll be able to air these because these are 10 inches wide instead of six inches wide. I used to have to, when I aired down to 18 PSI, the car launched really hard, but it was all over the place. I'm betting with these, I can probably air down to like 14 PSI. I mean, we'll see, but I bet I can air way down and get some real flex out of these sidewalls. I can fucking push this right now. I don't even know what's in these, but, uh. I'll probably be able to air these down more and get better grip. And let me go over something else that was a limiting factor. The camber. You can see it's all jacked up now because I put the adjusters, I put them in the middle. That way, I'll, once this is done, I can actually add or remove camber the way I should be. But one thing we could never do is get our camber perfect. We had it like pretty close to zero, but then when it launched, it would go, you know, negative camber a little. So now I'll actually be able to set it a little positive and then when I launch, it'll go square. So that'll be cool. But getting the back end, so we're going to do, uh, I'm not quite sure how many things we're going to do, but we are going to do something. We got our coilovers now, that'll help. But I want to do something to stiffen the back of the car. Really, the only thing holding me back right now is parts cost and lead time. I want to do, uh, I've got polyurethane bushings. I don't really think those are a huge limiting factor right now, but I think I need some better bracing in the rear of the car. And that is kind of a limiting factor. Uh, it's just... I would have to redo some of the exhaust to improve it, so I'm hesitant. But we may end up doing something with that. But the goal of all this, you know, these bigger tires, the bigger wheels, you know, all, the whole point of this, I want this car to have a lot of mechanical grip. Um, I really want to be able to compete. I, you know, I want to drag race. So I used to run, basically I'd break into the sixes and the eighth, and I'd get kicked off for not having the safety stuff. We're going to get the safety stuff. I want to put this thing in the fives and the eighth. There are not very many Miatas that run fives in the eighth. I mean, I'm sure there's a few, don't get me wrong, but that's a short list. And if I had to guess, pretty much all of them, or 80% of them, are V8 swaps. And, you know, I don't think we're going to have that problem. I think we'll have the power to do it, but we need the grip. That's every, in drag racing, your 60 foot is everything. And not to mention, the way I used to run this car, I never even put full power down until second gear. And it's like, why? Because it's spun. I could launch it 20 pounds of boost, and this thing would spin in first. Uh, with 355 gears, it would spin in first gear. I've got videos of it running like, there's one on my, on my channel. I ran a 701, and it was spinning for probably pretty much right off the launch all the way to about 25 miles an hour. And I was only running 20 pounds of boost on the launch. It might have went up to like 30 at the top of first. So wasn't running full power, and it was still spinning. And that's with the... Uh, that's what the drag radials I had, the Mickey Thompson ET Street R's. Uh, they were a little old, but, you know, I mean, they did better than the street tires, but it was not ideal. I was cutting 1.6 60-foots, 
basically high 1.6s. Probably could have ran low 1.6s if I had put new ones on. But, uh, you know, we need this thing in like the 1.4s, 60 foots or better, or low 1.4s or something. We need some serious launch. That'll make a huge difference in our times. And then once we get rolling, you know, say this car's going 20 miles an hour or 30, you know, say, say I get a launch and I get up to like 20 miles an hour. I want to be able to just bury the power, run 40, 50 pounds of boost and just throw it all to the ground. So that's the reason we're doing all this work is we're serious about going fast. And that means addressing the weak links, even the ones that are difficult to address. And this has definitely been a, a, a nightmare and we're not, we're not done. We're not even close to done. Uh, you can let's see if any of this shows up. See these little green marks? I was marking. This is some old marks, but I was trying to mark where I was going to, where the, I think where I needed to cut to make clearance for the tire or something like that for the new ones. So we still got sheet metal work to do, fender flares, upper control arms. Uh, God, there's probably more stuff. It's There's some serious work to be done to pull this off, but... In the end, it's going to be worth it. In the end, I'll be able to go to the track, and hopefully I'll be damn near riding a wheelie, and I'll have the grip, and I won't be breaking stuff. So that's the reason we're doing all this work. Uh, this will pay off in the end, and then the last thing, it's going to look awesome. I know it ain't done yet, and it probably looks a little weird right now because it's, you know, in progress. But when this thing is done, it's going to look sick, you know. And I even figured out... So right now with these street tires, it's going to look a little weird when we get the fenders on. Because if you these are only 24 inches tall. So somehow, like not immediately, but eventually we're going to get a 20, a bigger, a bigger tire for street driving. Because these are slicks. I probably shouldn't drive these on the street. There's absolutely, I mean, there's no tread at all. Great for the drag strip. And that's why we did it. We're trying not to. This car's been famous for compromises. And compromises, you know, unfortunately. It's good for daily duty or, you know, like dual duty, street and track, but it's bad for putting down numbers. So we got some dedicated Hoosiers for the track, but that means we're going to need some dedicated street tires. And we bought these and we hadn't even drove on them really. But, uh, you know, when we get these bigger tires and the fender flares, these are going to look small in those fenders. So we'll probably end up getting bigger tires, which means we may have to go to a 16 inch wheel to find a tire option that's suitable. And if we do, we do. It's not the end of the world. But uh, anyway, kind of wanted to give you guys a explanation. You know, a lot of the updates that you're not seeing, it's kind of a, uh, you know, some of the some of the stuff is kind of boring. Like even this update, I mean, I'm you know showing off a little bit of progress, but not a lot. And I didn't really film doing it. I think I thought about it, but I don't think people are really interested in that. What needs to happen is I need to get the car finished, and then I'll start filming this car at the track. That's going to be some interesting stuff. It'll be fun. And that'll be cool seeing the results. And hopefully after that, I'll be able to have some better, like more interesting updates and I can film that stuff. But yeah, for now, we're just kind of grinding away in the shop and making progress. So I guess that'll do it for now. And until next time, y'all take it easy.